Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Lives. So how's everybody doing today? So you guys, this is a bizarre story that I'm coming to you with today. And this is a story that is not a new story. It's something that has been going on for quite a few years at this point. And this is the story of Natalia Barnett. Now, Natalia is the young lady who was adopted from the Ukraine when she was possibly six years old. However, it was soon discovered after the couple Christine and Michael Barnett adopted her that she possibly was not a six-year-old at all. So I'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures. The first picture of Natalia, which uh, was taken shortly after she was adopted so that everyone can possibly see if she was, if she looked like a six-year-old. Now, keep in mind, Natalia does suffer from dwarfism. So, and I'm no doctor, no medical expert, but if I feel like maybe that could be why she doesn't exactly look like a little girl, but I'll insert the picture so that you all can see. Now, as you look at the pictures that I'm going to be inserting throughout this video, I don't believe that she was ever six years old when they adopted her. Dr. Phil, however, believes that she's not, doesn't believe that she's 30 years old. And I'm also going to link the full Good Morning America video in the description box below so everyone can take a look there. My thoughts on this is we've, I've talked about this. I actually talked about this in my live stream. So I was excited to see that this video is out here and that, you know, there is more information that more developing information on this story. The Barnett's have been arrested they have been charged with neglect and abandonment. And they're, they are accused of leaving her without proper care. The thing is, is that the, the Barnett's are saying that Natalia threatened them, that she tried to harm them. They're saying that she did some really crazy things to them. And so they are, I feel that what they did they felt they needed to do at that time to protect their other children because they do have three sons that were younger at the time that they adopted Natalia. However, I do understand where Dr. Phil is coming from. They they put her in somewhere where she wasn't able to properly reach things and and she ended up just leaving the place and wandering around. You know, they set her up on public assistance and she ended up leaving the place and just kind of wandering around. When you look at the picture the last picture that I have of her which is a, a shot from the interview that she did with Dr. Phil she does look like she could possibly be in her 20s or even 30 years old and the other interesting thing is that Natalia has been in several different homes uh, since she's been in the U.S. and there has been some other issues of possible violence so I feel like there is something going on there with this girl. However, I'm not judging her. I don't want anyone to feel that I'm judging her because I'm not, because I don't know what it feels like to suffer from what she suffers from. None of us know what type of anger that can create unless we, we have this condition. And so we don't, I don't want to say that, oh, she's crazy, throw her, throw, lock her in a padded cell. None of that, because I don't know uh, what kind of life this girl has had. And I can imagine that it's been very hard to be pushed from one home to the next, leaving an orphanage and thinking that you're going to your forever home only to be placed somewhere and left. And now you're with another family. But again, the fact that she's been with several families and there's been some violence and some strange situations, I, I kind of, I kind of really, I feel for the Barnett. I feel for them because for the simple fact they thought they were adopting they thought that they were adopting a child only to discover that they had adopted a full grown woman. And I can't imagine how humiliating that must feel to know that you were giving a full grown an adult woman a bath thinking that this was a child. And as the father explained when he was on Dr. Oz, and I'm going to see if I can find the link to that as well so I can link it in the description. He said that his wife was giving Natalia a bath and discovered that Natalia was fully developed in her lower region 
and was also experiencing menstruation. So it's that's got to be kind of humiliating for them as well as for her. And the fact that she was pretending to be a child would indicate that there's some mental mental instability there. And it also seems like maybe there's some developmental delay. Um, on the other side of that, though, I, I do know that children that are born in underdeveloped countries or the, that are born into orphanages, I don't want to say underdeveloped because I don't believe that the Ukraine is underdeveloped. I'll say in an orphanage that sometimes their birth records are not correct. So I believe that that could also be the case here is that her birth records were not correct. And so she does, maybe they didn't know how old she was. They just said, well, she looks like she's six. We're going to say she's six. You know, we have a birth certificate that says she was born on this date. We don't really know. So I just want you guys to drop me some comments. Let's talk about this. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole story because it is very bizarre. It's sad and it's very bizarre. And I really hope that Natalia is safe and that she gets help if help is needed. And I do hope that the Barnetts are able to eventually move on from this. I hope that they're cleared of these charges because I don't feel that these charges are fair. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I want to say welcome to my new subscribers and I want to say a big thank you to my subscribers that continue to support me and to watch my videos. So go ahead if you haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of whenever I drop a new video and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.